What's up, IGN? It's Greg Miller from the IGN PlayStation team here to talk to you about Uncharted Drake's Fortune. Buy this game! You know, it's been a rough year for Sony. There's been delays, exclusives have been lost, and Lair was Lair. But finally, we have good news. Uncharted is awesome, and it's thanks to story, characters, and gameplay. Naughty Dog's latest kicks you into the shoes of Nathan Drake, a treasure hunter and a supposed heir to Sir Francis Drake. Uh, Nathan's following a set of clues laid out by Sir Francis to get to a fortune that the Sir faked his death to protect. You'll start in the waters off Panama, unearthing an empty casket, and find the diary of Sir Francis and get on your way to fighting pirates and becoming a millionaire. The best thing about Uncharted is it really has this movie flair to it and feel to it. There's a great instrumental score, the characters feel real thanks to superb voice acting and motion capture, and really, everything's just stylized beyond belief. I'm sure you've seen screenshots, you know this game looks awesome, but in motion it looks even better. There's three main characters to your side of the story. Obviously Nathan the treasure hunter, a badass hero who's not afraid to leap from ledges, jump all over the place and shoot the bad guys. Elena, a hard as nails reporter type who doesn't like Drake in the beginning but starts to come around in the end, but she's not afraid to use a gun. And Sully, a cigar chomping friend of Drake's who gets in the mix but is a little too old for the leaping and ledges and all that jazz. But I don't really care about any of that stuff and cut to the chase, would you? I'm sure some of that sounds like stereotypes, but this game really brings these characters to life and makes you feel like you're one of them thanks to everything that goes right. I mean, it looks great, it feels great, and it sounds great. Of course, the title is nothing about gameplay, and Uncharted succeeds there too. What it does is throw everything you know about Tomb Raiding out the window. In our previous adventures along with Lara Croft, I mean, you'd have to walk to a ledge, slowly rotate, look for the perfect spot and jump, and most of the time you'd die, get frustrated, and have to keep doing it until you nailed it. Uncharted has this fast-paced action movie style. The game is only about eight hours long your first time through, which might sound bad, but for the pacing, it's perfect. But when it comes down to gameplay, what's happening is you walk up to a ledge and just leap. Grab onto something, leap. Leap, 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 leap. You don't have to worry about falling. Everything's timed out perfectly to where you can run through this game at the pace it should be. When you're not exploring caverns and pulling off ancient puzzles, you're going to be fighting these pirates that are constantly swarming out trying to stop you thanks to Sully's little screw up from the beginning, but you'll see that later on. The way combat breaks down is it's a very third person shooter type of thing, except it focuses on making you take cover. You have to get up close to walls, peek around corners, and pull off shots with your pistol, shotgun, or machine gun, or whatever you may have. It's fun, and thanks to an awesome camera, it's easy to do. But I did find, at the very end, I was kind of getting sick of the pirates. A lot of times you'll be there, you'll take out three waves of these guys, run out to get some more bullets from their bodies, and then another wave comes at you. It sounds like it sucks, and like I said, it was almost there, but what happens is Uncharted is there's this twist at the very end. You've been playing this game this entire way, this certain way, cover, get out and shoot. At the very end, they do a 180 on you and change how you play, and it's just perfect when it happens. <laughs> So yeah, I'm sure you heard a second ago, eight hours, that might have scared you off, but the thing about Uncharted is there's excellent, amazing replay value here. Like I said, you get so invested in these characters, you really, really come to love them, and you'll want to go back and play this again. What's motivating you? Well, there's 60 treasures to find spread out throughout the game. They have not achievements, but awards you can go through and get for getting 100 headshots, or doing the brutal combo enough times, or just finding treasures in general. And these give you metal points, which you can then go and unlock new costumes, or the ability to have unlimited ammo. Neat stuff like that, that really makes you want to keep playing. So I know I touched on in the beginning, but yes, this game is gorgeous. The sun comes through trees and creates shadows on the ground that Nate walks through. When he's swimming in the water, his pants actually get wet. There's ski to f drive around on, there's grenade launchers to fire, there's a jeep with a turret that you ride on and you're just shooting all the stuff and you're mowing down trees and bad guys are blowing up and it just looks awesome. It looks like an action movie. However, it's not perfect. There are a lot of textures that pop in as you'll be walking through the jungle or even looking at your treasures and there is a lot of screen tearing. But these things are completely outweighed by how awesome this experience is. Uh, a lot of times we talk about some of their parts. Uncharted is an awesome final product. Everything comes together, and no matter how you may feel about one aspect, when you look at the entire package, it's just amazing. For years, we've been talking about how games can compete with Hollywood and offer an experience on par, and we've seen a lot of titles get close to doing that. Uncharted is the first one that really wraps its head around what this should be, how a pulp action adventure, a big blockbuster movie, should be put into game form. If you own a PS3, you owe it to yourself to buy Uncharted Drake's Fortune. 
For the full written review, check out IGN.com.